Welcome to Chaos and Cryptography. Now that we have seen how to encrypt and decrypt an image, I hope you would have tried the code shown in the previous videos and designed new innovative crypto systems. Now it's time to look into performance metrics used to estimate the strength of a crypto system. In this video, we'll see two important performance metrics, MSC and PSNR, where MSC stands for mean square error and PSNR stands for peak signal to noise ratio. MSC measures the difference between the given two images. The expression used to measure MSC is summation I1 of I comma J minus I2 I comma J the whole square divided by M into N where I1 and I2 are the given two images and M and N are the dimensions of the image. Now we'll see how to measure MSC with a simple example. Consider two matrices I1 and I2. Now I'm converting the given matrix into column matrix for easy calculation. We'll start applying the formula for finding MSE. First we'll find I1 minus I2. The values I obtain are marked in blue. Next we'll find I1 minus I2 the whole square. The values calculated are shown here. Now we find the summation of all the squared elements and we get 106. Next to find MSE, we divide summation by the dimension of the matrix, which is a 3 by 3 matrix. Therefore, MSE is equal to 106 by 9 and we get 11.8. This is a very simple example to understand how we estimate MSC for two matrices. Now let's calculate the MSC between two images. First we'll find out for the original and the encrypted images displayed here. I found out the MSC to be 8073.48. There is a high difference between the encrypted and the original image. So, we can infer that the crypto system is a strong one. Next, we will find out the MSC between the original and the decrypted image. Now, we see that the error is 0. That means we have obtained the original image after decryption. There are two main advantages of finding the mean square error. The first one is to find the correctness of the decryption algorithm. The second one is to find if the original image has been retrieved at the receiver's end without any distortion. In the next video, we will see how to calculate PSNR. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on chaos and cryptography.